Welcome back to Living Local. Ballet Quad Cities provides an enriching experience for our entire community with professional dance performances, entertaining lecture demonstrations, and educational outreach programs. Ballet Under the Stars is a free event for everyone featuring a unique blend of cultures. Joining me in studio, we have Courtney Lyon. She's the Artistic Director and Emily Kate Long, the Artistic Associate with Ballet Quad Cities. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you for you. having us. So Courtney, we've had you on the show before, yeah. but remind everyone out there, what is the history behind Ballet Quad Cities? Ballet Quad Cities is a professional ballet company. This is our 23rd season that we'll be entering this fall. Um, and it's pretty cool because not every community gets to boast a professional ballet company. We're uh, one of only maybe 100 in the nation. Uh, we hired ballet dancers from around the country who come in to audition and then they move here. So it's a resident ballet company comprised of professionals from all over the country. That is so neat. So who does Ballet Quad City serve here locally? Everyone. We mm -hmm. serve everyone. Um, we have outreach programs that reach people from very young children, little young kiddos through our, some of our Dance Me A Story programs, which we'll talk about, mm -hmm. all the way up through seniors. And then our performances are open to everyone. And you guys have some incredible events throughout the year, and we are getting pumped for Ballet Under the Stars. So how did this event get started? This event started, I said we're in our 23rd mm -hmm. season, um, but what's pretty cool is that this event started before we were actually a professional ballet company. So we're maybe pushing 30 years with Ballet Under the Stars. Um, we opened the season at the Lincoln Park Classic Theater with the, with the Genesius Guild. Um, and we usually have about 500 people turn out every night, weather permitting. Um, and it's three performances. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 8 p.m. Uh, it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th of June. Um, and we serve to kick off kind of the summer um, outdoor experiences, performances at the park. That is such a neat experience. Okay, so if someone's never been, how would you describe the event? Well, it's it's a multicultural experience. So we have professional ballet that will be on stage. We have pre-professional students who are very high level, who are training to be professionals that will get a chance to perform. And then we also are involving a lot of community organizations. So we have um, D4 Dance Academy. They are Indian dancers, classical and contemporary Indian dancers. They perform every night, which is really cool. We have Amani dancers, um, which is the African group, led by Dorian Bird. They'll be performing Sunday night. We have um, ballet, or Quad City Ballet Folklorico, mm -hmm. which is the Hispanic dance group. We have some kiddos from that group that will be performing every single night. And then we also have, oh, Irish dancers will be new this year. So Mayor, um, School of Irish Dance, who are, they're actually located in Chicago, but they have a Quad Cities extension. So we'll have all these different styles, all these different people on stage, which means our audience will be really rich. It will represent a lot of the Quad Cities community. What a great opportunity to really explore so many different styles of dance at one place, yes. at one time. Yeah. Okay, and you just said that you were announcing your 23rd season for Ballet Quad Cities. So what's gonna be new this year with Ballet Quad Cities? Um, well, we have new faces, mm -hmm. new venues. So we have some new dancers that will be joining the company. Um, we're always looking for new awesome talent to bring to the Quad Cities, and we've done that. Um, we'll be at some new venues this year. We'll be at the Bruner Theater at Augustana for our kickoff. It's called Music Moves in September. It's gonna be awesome, live music. And then for Dracula this year, which we've done in the past, we're going to be at a new uh, a new event center, the Bartlett in Moline. That is so, exciting yes. stuff. Okay, yeah. in addition to Ballet Under the Stars, you guys also do tons of outreach for children in our area. So can you tell me a little bit about your Dance Me a Story outreach program? Absolutely, and children all the way up to seniors, all ages. Um, Dance Me a Story will be happening at 7 p.m. before every single performance. It's the first time we've done it at the park. We've taken it to 43 different schools. Um, over 12 senior centers, assisted living centers, um, as well as handicap development center and the Arc of the Quad Cities. But this um, particular book is called I Got the Rhythm. Um, it's about the sights and sounds of a city park. And so we have tons of fun, fun props and costumes and Dance Me a Story is a really cool way to connect literature to ballet. So we read through the story, um, the kids use their imagination, and then we kind of go back and retell the story through movement. So the kids get to tap into their creativity. They make some really, really fun movement choices, so I always end up learning <laughs> a lot when I do them. Um, and it ends up being a really great time, so that'll be happening before every performance. How can kiddos get involved with that? 
they just show up. Awesome! No experience necessary. Kids, parents, mm -hmm. all ages. We've had, you know, from three, four years old all the way up to preteens. It's, it's great for everyone. That sounds like so much fun. Okay, ladies, remind us again, when is Ballet Under the Stars happening? Ballet Under the mm -hmm. Stars is June 7th, 8th, and 9th, 8 p.m. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Lincoln Park. All right. Sounds beautiful. All right, ladies, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you thank so you. much. All right, for more information, you can find Ballet Quad Cities on Facebook at Ballet Under the Stars. We'll have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local Dances on after this.